Here is Scotty Dubler with your starting lineup for Pro Heat number one. Pro singles heat race number one on the pole from Modesto, California on the Pacific Coast and pools. Entry number 23, Z James Monaco. Starting second from Snohomish, Washington, number 20, M. That is a Castle Rock TT winner, number 20, M, Jacob Lehman. From St. Helens, Oregon, starting in the third starting spot, number 14, M, that's Cale Fisher. From Norco, California, 44E, that is Nick Armstrong. Starting fifth on the front row, also from Snohomish, Washington, number 51M, Cole Fredrickson. And the last rider on the front row, looks like he's on the very inside of the front row. They call him the Flying Tomato from Canadagua, New York, the 36B, Colby Carlisle. Row number two, 70Y, Chris Kobari, 24J, Brandon Wilhelm. 26E, Dylan Morin, 54A, Dan Bromley, 94B, our points leaders way back there are starting 11th and starting 12th, Rodney Spencer Jr. on the 74Z. On the third row, number 24M, Jake Burton, 90M, Wyatt Anderson, 63M, Dan Lowther, and the 14Z, Chris McDougall. Those are the riders in heat race number one. We've already eliminated, eliminated nine riders in the pro singles class, and now we have the first qualifying heat race. We'll take first through seventh place, all directly to our pro singles main event. So the track is just about clear. We'll send them around for one lap again because they did some changes to the racetrack and uh, they'll get one lap to warm up their tires and get ready to go for heat race number one. The track is clear on the AMA Pro Racing Official. They were going to send them off one lap to check out the track. Riders come out from the inside. That's the Flying Tomato Colby Carlisle, 36B, doing it for KC Cycle. He's on a KTM. Actually, we've got a, a whole fleet of Hondas out there, five Hondas on the front row, one KTM on the front row. On row number two, three Hondas, three KTMs, and then back on the third row, we've got a Yamaha, a Suzuki, a Honda, and a Kawasaki. So that's how the field will look coming up for this one. And keep your eyes on the 94 B flying. Ryan Wells ended up third last weekend. He's trying to improve that here at the Sacramento Mile. Some of these riders don't have a lot of uh, mile experience, but they're getting it right here tonight as we speak. And uh, keep your eyes on the 94. He's actually in second place in the points, and he's uh, one point out away from the leader. 94 B flying. Ryan Wells in this one on one of the KTM's back there in row number two. For your first time flat track race fans, there's absolutely no front brakes on these motorcycles. Rear brakes only. You also wear a steel shoe on your left boot. You see, it looks like everybody's chosen to wear the full face helmet, which is very smart, the less, uh, less drag. Some people wear the motocross helmets even on a half mile, but do you want to get rid of the wind drag? Try to get as small as you can when you go down these straightaways at about 125 miles per hour. Throw it sideways into the corners. This is heat race number one for our pro singles. We have the top seven riders will go directly to the main event. It is a six lap race. And they're just about ready to go. It's just about time to go racing here in Sacramento. Looks like we have three rows staged up and just about ready to go. There's a Christmas tree on the inside of the front row. I can see the top light is on. That is a red light. There are two yellow lights. And then when the light turns green, it is go time. Track is clear, so when the riders are ready, we're going to turn them loose. This is round number eight of the AMA Pro Grand National Flat Track Series. Ten second board is already down. Bikes are in gear, clutches are in. Here we go racing at Sacramento. Heat race number one on the line. And we are off. Fredrickson gets the whole shot from the second starting position. Here comes Bromley from the second row. They're five wide going into the first corner. Everybody trying to get to the bottom of the racetrack, I believe. Cole Fredrickson with the whole shot, 51M. That is a Snohomish, Washington rider. The crowd's going crazy right here in front of me. For all you fans at fanschoice.tv, it's about 100 degrees out. Pretty full house here at the Sacramento Mile. There are three riders battling for the lead as they go into turn number three. Here comes the Honda up the inside. The leader leaves it on a little bit longer. That's the 51M, Cole Fredrickson from Snohomish, Washington. We're going to bring it back this way. One rider up against the air fence and the hay bales. Here they come off of turn number four. Green flag is out. They're coming back this way. It is Fredrickson. Now here comes Armstrong up the inside. Red flag is coming out. I just heard on the AMA Pro Radio there's a rider down over there in three and four. There is a rider down in turns three and four. The red flag does fly. One rider's down up against the air fence over there. So the red flag is coming out. There's a uh, Red flag into turn number four. Whoa, one rider's up there against the hay bales. Watch out. There goes another one. Uh-oh, he went right over him. 
Red flag was out. No, don't know if they didn't see it or if that's where they went high trying to avoid the down rider. Also, uh, the sun could have been an issue. Another rider going down over there in the first corner. Or, I'm sorry, the third corner. So we're not sure what happened there. Got a little wild and crazy. One bike was down right there in the center of three and four. They got the red lights out as soon as we could, but some of the riders uh, were trying to slow down the run in the high line, and that is where that downed motorcycle was. So a few motorcycles going down, not the way we wanted to start the evening. I'm talking things over on the AMA Pro Racing Radio, so they're trying to make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Looks like a couple of the Kimco scooters have already made their way over there, so uh, Barry Boone's down there on the track. We'll see if he can get over to the hot box just as soon as we can, but Bromley had one heck of a hole shot from the second row, but it was trying to catch up to the early leader. So the engines come to life once again. We'll have a complete restart. So it doesn't look like either of those bikes. I can't see Dylan Morin or the 14M. I, I don't see him. Actually, 14M looks like he's on the inside of the third row, possibly. Lined up, ready to go. Complete restart. Pro singles. Heat race number one on the track. And the light is green, and we are off. So Fisher has joined the tail end of the field. Fredrickson got a pretty good shot. Here comes the 44E. New rider comes from the outside and gets a heck of a drive. That's possibly Jacob Lehman on the 20M. We'll wait and see. Somebody's getting a little bit sideways at the lead. They'll take him down the back straight away. Here they go. Originally had 16 riders. We'll see how many we got left when we come back around lap number one. The leader's pulling a little bit of a gap down the back straight. We look at the drive for the third place rider. He goes around second place in a hurry using the draft. 450 cc motorcycles going to work around this beautiful Sacramento mile. Leader's going to bring them off the turn before they're coming back this direction. Here they come back at us. Back this direction, out front. They're side by side battling for the lead, going down there into turn number one. The new leader taking things over. Into turn number one. We'll see who it is. Monaco's up there near the front. Down the back straight we go. They're two by two, now two by three. Anybody's race battling for the lead. Good battle out front, top seven riders trying to break away. We got room for only seven riders. Leader's gonna bring them off of four. Here they come back at us. We'll wait and see who it is. Right down the front straightaway, that is Nick Armstrong in the 44 E. Here comes the 23, that's Monaco. Monaco takes things over, Kobari up to the third spot. So it's now Monaco out in front of the 44 E of Nick Armstrong. Third spot is Kobari, so three California riders out front. James Monaco, your fast qualifier, leads them. 44 E, Nick Armstrong is there, also the 70 wise Chris Kobari. Here comes a battle for the lead, using the draft to make the pass going into tournament three. Here comes the third place rider, gonna try to come with them. New leader, 44 E, Nick Armstrong. Leader brings them off the tournament four. Here they come back at us. It's Armstrong beside Monaco. Kobari right there in the third spot. Fredrickson moves up to fourth. Lehman is in the fifth spot. New leader in a turn number one and two. So we got Monaco doing battle with the 44E, Nick Armstrong. California Riders, one, two, and three. They're trying to pull away. They all get in line and get tucked in the draft as small as they can as they take them down the back chute. Now here comes here comes the second place rider, Armstrong, I believe, coming up the inside. Monaco slides back to second. Kobari's in third now. Here comes fourth and fifth. Have caught up to the lead pack. One rider slipping a little bit wide. Everybody trying to stay on the groove in the very bottom of the racetrack. Last time by was Monaco, Armstrong, Kobari, Fredrickson, and Lehman. Back at us off of turn number four. Out front is Armstrong, Monaco, Kobari. Here comes Brandon Wilhelm now starting to put on the charge. Wilhelm. The Indiana Riders put himself up there. Now he's battling for the third spot. Now he slips off the groove a little bit. He loses one position. Bromley comes up there, takes over the four spot on the KTM. So we've got a KTM now in the hunt. Bromley from Pennsylvania. Now he puts his head down. Here comes Wilhelm one more time as they go down the back straightaway. Leaders trying to check out. That's Nick Armstrong, Norco, California Rider, trying to pull away, let everybody else settle it for themselves. Top seven will go on to the main. Here they come back out, up before the leader gets a little bit sideways, a little bit off the groove, no harm, no foul. He still is the front runner. White flag is out from Kevin Clark, the best flagman in the world. It is Armstrong, side by side for second, third, and fourth. It's anybody's race battling for the top seven spots, ladies and gentlemen. So the leader's starting to check out just a little bit. Now they're two, now three wide, battling for about the fifth spot. Here they come, nose to tail, handlebar to handlebar. They bring them off at turn number two, down the back chute. 
Everybody trying to sort things out. Last lap of heat race number one. Armstrong pulling away. Armstrong strong out front last time by was by 0.6 seconds, so a little over a half a second lead. Here they come. He's gotten some nice breathing room. It's anybody's race from second on back because we only have room for seven of them. Here they come off of four. Checkered flag is out. Heat race number one is going to come to a close. Nick Armstrong is going to take the win. Look at the battle for second on back. Woo! That right there is why I'm glad I'm not a scorekeeper. And I'm glad we have transponders on these motorcycles as they make their way through. We'll give you the rundown. Last rider picked up the checkered flag from Kevin Clark. So your winner, Nick Armstrong, the 44E. And he comes to us from uh, Norco, California. Second, James Monaco, our fast qualifier. Chris Cobari will finish third. Brandon Wilhelm, fourth. Jacob Lehman, fifth. Dan Bromley, sixth. And your final transfer, the 51M, Cole Fredrickson. Those are your transfers. So we have six Hondas and one KTM going to the main event. And uh, that is how they finished. And we'll go, go trackside for the first time for the victory podium. And man, what a ride by Nick Armstrong from Norco, California, sponsored by Southland Racing, G&G &G Racing, Fontana Radiator, and Race Tech. Just a few of the sponsors on the 44E. And now the uh, winner's trying to make his way through the, all the crowd and get down to the victory podium. The Harley-Davidson girls are down there with my partner. Looks like they lost the Umbrella girls, but uh, they don't need them anymore right now. So here comes the winners headed up to the victory podium. Let's go trackside with my partner for the sixth year in a row, Daytona Barry Boone. I tell you what, Scotty, he's got the Southland racing machine fired up tonight. He finished uh, third place at Hagerstown, Maryland. He followed that up with an impressive second place finish at Grace Harbor. Could it be? He's going to find the top of the, top of the box here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your first heat race winner of the night, Nick Armstrong. <laughs> Norco, California. He's a California. Nick, tell us about your race. Uh, it was a good race. I tried to get a good start. Um, I didn't get the whole shot, but I was able to uh, work my way up front. Uh, I got a really fast motorcycle tonight, thanks to Jim Wood at Southland Racing, and I'm hoping to do the same thing in the main event. Anybody else you want to say thanks to real quick? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I got to thank G&G &G Racing, uh, TDFJ.com. I want to thank uh, Fontana Radiator. Um, I want to also thank the Rainey family for helping me out. And uh, if there's anybody I miss, thank you. Number 44E from Norco, California, ladies and gentlemen, won the race. Nick Armstrong, Hollywood. This is your starting lineup for Pro Heat 2. On the pole, ladies and gentlemen, he's won three main events so far this year. He comes to us from Twin Lake, Michigan. He's tied for the points lead, 77J, Kyle Johnson. Starting second from Lodi, California, number 51Y, Nate Waite from Fremont, California, 17Y, Cole Crowley, and from Warren, Oregon, also tied for the points lead, 67M, that's Davis Fisher from Warren, Oregon. Starting fifth from Brisbane, California, 66Y, Dominic Calendres. And last rider on the front row, last week's winner up in Elma, Washington, from Mount Gilead, Ohio, 17F, Jared Vandekoy. Row number two, 23F, Ryan Foster, 34F, Andrew Butler, 16M, Austin Helmholtz, 30Z, Bronson Bauman, 81P from Australia's Jace Castles, and the 58Z, Jesse Sanchez. On row number three, the 95Z, Austin Skaggs, 16Y, Dave Sanchez, 54Z, Michael Inderbitson, and 99Y, Ryan Kearns. That is your starting lineup. Pro Singles, heat race number two. Top seven to the main event, here we go. They are off. Van de Koy from the inside, Johnson from the outside. Look at the rider from second row all the way to the lead, ladies and gentlemen, wow. From the second row, Ryan Foster says, hey, I wanna lead this one and I'm gonna do it early. From the second row to the lead into the first corner, what an amazing start. Johnson back to second, here they come. Looks like Davis Fish is back there in the four spot. Everybody sorting things out down the back shoot. Now they all oh, sucked up to the leader, losing the draft, now they're two, now three wide. Here they come into turn number three. The leader slips a little bit wide. It's Vandekoy. Now he squirts on the throttle right in the middle of the corner. Grabs himself a handful. Pulls off a nice lead. Excellent maneuvering right there through turns three and four. Out front, it is Vandekoy. Now I'm sorry, that is Johnson. That's Johnson, the 77 out front. Johnson to the lead. Now it looks like Nate Waite moves up to the two spot. 51 Y, that's Nate Waite. Used to be national number 51. Retired from flat track and he's making his way back out here. It looks like Davis Fisher is dropping back to about the eighth spot now. A very unusual ride so far from Davis Fisher who is tied with the points lead. 
out front is our points leader that's tied with Fisher. Now one bike's having some problems. He puts his hand up. He gets out of the way. So one of our front runners having mechanical and a rider down into the air fence. I believe that is Fisher. Possibly Fisher will wait and see as they come back towards this red flag's gonna wave. There's a down rider still uh, down there over there in the air fence. There's Johnson, Bauman, Foster, Van de Coy. There is Fisher, so it was not Davis Fisher. So somebody else with some bright orange leathers going down over there in turns three and four. And I uh, did not see that happening. I was taking a look at one of the riders who was slowing down the back straightaway. He's coasting right here on the front straightaway. So one, this rider right here that had a mechanical issue down the back chute. I believe that might be Dominic Calendra, as I can't see from up here. It's hard to see those little numbers and uh, three-inch letters from up here for sure. So uh, one rider going down in turn number three. Good break for this guy right here. He had a mechanical issue on the back straight. So the word from the track is the rider is up and okay. That's good news. Let's put our hands together for our down rider. We didn't do that earlier. Definitely hard to go down, especially at about a buck 25, probably 125 miles an hour as they go down there into the corner. So uh, you can see some of these other riders stop by the big screen down here in the very center of the track. So we're looking things over down here. One rider got lucky break. He had a mechanical issue. And I'm not sure who that is. Now they pushed him off the track. So whoever it was, looks like his heat race is done. Everybody else comes to the hot box. They'll bring the 77J up. Scotty, I'm pretty sure that was Dominic Calendris uh, that uh, had the mechanical. And his bike's on his way back to the attention of the team. OK, That's appreciate that, Barry. Sure. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure if they're going to send him out into on a backup motorcycle or not. I'm not sure if Dominic Calendras has a backup motorcycle. Looks like he just pulled one out of the uh, hot box, actually, where all those bikes are staged up on the inside of the front row. Uh, that's where you keep your backup motorcycle, so Calendras does make the chain. Listening into the radio right now, they're trying to get everything sorted out, so Calendras hops on the backup motorcycle. Dominic Calendra is the 66 wide jumping on the backup motorcycle, so he will start on the penalty line. So we have four rows of motorcycles. Where's Kalindra's going? All right, so we're not quite ready yet. Lining him up, that's Dominic Kalindra's had to go to the backup motorcycle. And now they're staged up. We got four rows of motorcycles. Here we go, complete restart. Heat race number two, pro singles, top seven to the main event. Might be the break that Davis Fisher was looking for. The 67M was going nowhere. And they are off. Johnson from the outside once again has got the drive. Foster goes right up to the groove and goes from the second row to second place this time. It looks like Fisher's in the third spot. Your points leaders out front, Kyle Johnson, 77J on the number plate. We'll take him off of turn number two. Second spot from the second row. That's the 23 bike. That's Ryan Foster, and he's got Fisher right there in tow. Top three pulling away. They're three wide for fifth place going into turn number three here at Sacramento. Somebody steal shoes coming off, so that's what the rider is on the back straight. One rider up against the air fence, way deep in the field. He's kept it on two wheels. Here they come off at turn number four, back at us on the front side. It is Kyle Johnson. Now, Fisher's in the two spot, Foster's in third. We'll get things sorted out as the dimes as they click them off, as they come by me here on the front straightaway. It's a live timing scoring. It's Johnson out front, Fisher in second, Foster in third, Vandekoy, Bauman, Crowley, Castles, Sanchez, Kearns, and Austin Skaggs. That's your top ten. Down the back straightaway they go. Tough break for Nate Wade as Steel's shoe came off, and that's him slowing down over here off of turn number four. He will try to come back in the last chance qualifier. Leader starting to check out just a little bit. Has a little bit of breathing room, about half a second now for the leader. That's the 77J Kyle Johnson bringing it back this way, the Twin Lake Michigan rider. Out front, Fisher in the two spot. Dashing, Davis Fisher. Third is Vandekoy, fourth is Foster, fifth is Bauman. Look at the bout for sixth, seventh, and eighth. We only have room for seven of them. They go into turn number three. The best battle on the track is Crowley in the sixth spot. Jace Castles in seventh, Jesse Sanchez in eighth, and Dominic Clendress from the fourth row up to ninth. Looking for some more. You gotta finish in the top seven if you wanna directly transfer to the main event. If you don't, you come back in a, in a last chance qualifier in this pro singles class. So top two, definitely checking out Kevin Clark. Our flagman will pull out the green and the white. He'll put them crossways. That means we're halfway through our second qualifying heat race here in the pro singles. 
Into turn number one they go. It is Johnson. Look at the battle deep in the field. Some of the riders coming to the head of the class. Out front, it is still the 77J Kyle Johnson at the point. Davis Fisher in the two spot. We will put some water on the racetrack after this one. So uh, Barry Boone have a good time to talk to our leader. Back in the pack a little bit. Fourth place is dropping just a little bit. Here comes fifth place coming on by. That's got to be Calendras coming to the front. I believe the 66 wise trying to make up some time. He had to start on the fourth row. Had a mechanical issue on the primary bike. Looks like his backup bike is just as strong. Here's our leader back on the front straightaway. Kyle Johnson, 77J. Fisher in the two spot. Third is Vandekoy, last week's winner. Calendra is up there to fifth. Bauman in sixth. As they go across the start finish line, getting things sorted out from there on back there. Two wide, battling for sixth and seventh. Crowley right now is in the sixth spot. Ryan Foster is in seventh. Jesse Sanchez is now the odd man out. Top seven will keep on going. Expert heat race number one is up next after we put some water on the racetrack. Good battle for third, fourth, and fifth. Actually, yes, it is third, fourth, and fifth. Vandekoy gave up the third spot. Here comes Calendres. Dominic Calendres, the 66 wide from Brisbane, California, has come from the fourth row up to the third spot as the white flag comes out. One more mile to go in this heat race. Now Vandekoy puts his head down, goes back by Calendres. Bauman's going to follow him through. Bronson Bauman comes on through with him. Vandekoy back to third. Bauman in fourth. Calendres in the fifth spot. They finish where they are right now. They will make it directly to the main event, but they all want to finish the further up, the better starting pick you will have in that main event. Leaders already in turn number three. Way out front's the 77J. They're three wide for third place. Johnson at the point. We'll bring it off the floor for the final time. The big checkered flag is going to come out. Kyle Johnson put a whooping on him right here, winning by about two seconds. There's your winner, Kyle Johnson. And second place across the finish line now it is Fisher. Calendras will take third from the fourth row. Vandekoy, Bauman, and the rest of the riders. What a ride. Let's give you the rundown. Kyle Johnson takes another heat race win. He wins by 2.2 seconds over Davis Fisher. Dominic Calendras comes in third. Jared Vandekoy fourth. Bronson Bauman will take the fifth spot. Cole Crowley will take sixth and your seventh and final transfer, the 23Y Ryan Foster. So an excellent ride from Dominic Calendras coming from the fourth row to third. The riders are going to the semi. I mean, the last chance qualifier would be Jesse Sanchez, Ryan Kearns, Jace Castles, Austin Skaggs, Andrew Butler, Austin Helmholtz, Dave Sanchez, Michael Interbitson, and Nate Waite will all come back in one last chance qualifier. So the winner's going to be making his way up to Barry Boone. The water truck is already out on the track, so uh, we'll have a nice interview with our winner, Kyle Johnson. He knows how to get to the victory podium. He's won three main events this year. He won Knoxville, he won Lima, and he won the Hagerstown. All three of those are half miles. He's looking for his first mile victory of his career, and he's headed to the victory podium. It's my partner, Barry Boone. He stole my thunder. That's right. He's coming into this round with three win wins on the 2014 season for Parkinson Brothers. He's tied with David Fisher for the point lead. Fisher was in the two spot, so the two seem inseparable here tonight at Sacramento, but he's looking for a mile win, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise and encourage him. Maybe he'll win our main, Kyle Johnson. <laughs> Kyle, great race for you. Tell us about your race. Tell us about this track. Oh, we got off to a great start. The tracks, uh, I think, it's got a lot faster since practice. A lot more traction out there. We got off to a good start, and we were able to run our own race. And uh, I think put even a little gap on second place. Felt great. Well, how's it feel being uh, in tied for the point lead coming into this round here at Sacramento? A lot of races left in 2014. Oh yeah, we're just in the middle of the season, and we got. Um, Hopefully today we can maybe put another win behind us and uh, get this points chase a little bit more, a little bit more breathing room. Once again, Parkinson Brothers gave you a real good motorcycle. Oh yeah, I can't thank them enough. This bike's a rocket ship. I got to thank Hot Rod Harley Davidson, X Trim, Mom and Dad, Motorcycle Superstore, Bell, uh, Saddleman Seats, uh, Motion Pro, and uh, Renta. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. Number 77 J wins Pro Signals Heat Race. Kyle Johnson. Taking a look at the pro singles points, Kyle Johnson is tied in the lead with 99 points. He has three wins on the season. He's tied with Davis Fisher, who finished second in that heat race, so they're both qualified for the main event. Third spot is the 94B Flying Ryan Wells with 98 points. Fourth in the point series, 24J Brandon Wilhelm. Fifth is Dylan Warren, the rider that went down earlier. Bronson Bauman was in sixth. Dan Brownlee, seventh in the points. Jared Vendicoy is eighth in the point standings. He missed the first two rounds because he was not quite 16 years old. He did take the win down there at the last round, and uh, ninth in the points is Colby Carlisle and 10th is Justin Jones. Let's go back trackside with my partner Barry Boone. Hey, thank you, Scott.
By the way, great call, partner. Love listening to you uh, call a race. I want to bring someone up that is a longtime supporter. In fact, of all of our family of sponsors, no one has been with us longer than this company. How many of you ride American Iron Harley Davidsons? That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen from the Harley Davidson Motor Company, a great friend of the sport and a great friend of motorcycle racing, Chris Schoonover. All right, Scooney, I know you guys are involved on a number of levels in racing. You, you, you are part of the Vance and Heinz Harley Davidson XR 1200 series in road racing. Big part of the expert twins here at Flat Track. And you guys just, I think, clinched the title today. Is that right? Well, we had a uh, special bike, uh, pro bike battle that went off today in, uh, in Sonoma. And um, it was three rounds, top eight riders, and uh, Andrew Hines ended up winning it, which is why I missed the opening ceremony. Man, that's reason enough. We got you up here now. It all, all doesn't matter now. So congratulations. Thanks. Great to be here. I love this track. I, I was disappointed when it was, when it was off the schedule, and I'm so happy to be here tonight. Yeah, thanks to SMI and those guys for putting this gig back together. Scooney, good to see you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Schoonover from the Harley-Davidson Motor Company. For the first of three expert heats, here's your starting lineup for expert heat one. On the pole, ladies and gentlemen, our points leader, also the winner last week in Elma, Washington, from Clio, Michigan, the Rogers Racing Las Vegas Harley Davidson, number nine, the Jammer Jared Mees. Starting in the number two starting spot, the Zanotti Racing Harley, number two, Kenny Coolbeth Jr. Third starting spot from Salinas, California, also on a Zanotti Racing Harley Davidson, number 80, Stevie Bonzi. Starting fourth on the Black Hills Harley Davidson entry from Clio, Michigan, that's the racing lady, number 15, that is Nicole Meese. Starting fifth on the front row from Oxford, Pennsylvania, on the Hot Shot Motor Works, Kawasaki 44's Brandon Robinson. And the last rider on the front row on the Bonneville Performance Factory Triumph from Acampo, California, 91, Mikey Martin. They're going to give him one more lap. They said it's still a little bit wet out there. When we come back, we'll start with row number two. I'd like to say hi to all you fans listening in and watching at fanschoice.tv. Stacy Markle and Tammy Richmond from the Class of 79. Also, Tommy Doom and his family are checking us out. Class of 79, friends, we'll talk about them in just a little bit. Let's go back to row number two in the starting lineup. Number 55, the double nickel from Glenmore, Pennsylvania, on the Montgomeryville Cycle Center. Kawasaki, 55, is Jake Shoemaker. From Godfrey, Illinois, on the Ron Wood BMW Carver's Barbecue Entry, 23, Jeffrey Carver, Jr. Starting in the night, starting spot from San Jose, California, on the Helmholtz Racing Kawasaki EX650. Number 54, Mikey Rush. In the 10th starting spot from Willow Street, Pennsylvania, on the latest Motors Factory Triumph. That's the 25A of Shayna Texter. Starting 11th from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, on the Lawrence Racing Harley Davidson 73, Doug Lawrence. Starting in the 12th starting spot, also from Willow Street, Pennsylvania, the Racing Unlimited Kawasaki 65, Corey Texter. And starting at the tail end of the field from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, on the Prairie Technology Harley-Davidson, national number 21, that is Duke Erickson. That is your starting lineup expert, heat race number one. Expert heat race number one will take the top three riders directly to the Dash for Cash, and the top six riders will all transfer directly to tonight's expert main event, 25 riders. Special shout out goes to my boss, man. Dan Johnson is at home uh, through his back. He's got all kinds of problems with his back, but Dan Johnson listening in at, at home. That is the boss, man. Hopefully his back gets better and we will see him at the racetrack soon. So they're staging him up, ready to go. One rider circling around. That's the 23. Also the 25A Shana Texter's in the hot box. Jeffrey Carver having some problems on the Ron Wood BMW. Shayna Texter switching motorcycles. She will switch the transponder. She's going back to the backup motorcycle. And Carver is working on his clutch on the 23 bike. That is the Ron Wood BMW. Here comes Shayna Texter, so she will make the, the start of this one. And 23, Jeffrey Carver Jr. First time on this motorcycle for this pilot. Jeffrey Carver Jr. on the 23 bike, one of the FBI, the fast boys from Illinois, on the Ron Wood BMW Carver's barbecue entry. And Barrett. of course, by going to a backup motorcycle, Shayna Texter will be 24 feet back, I believe, on the penalty stripe. So she's got a long way to go in a short time to get there. We have four rows of motorcycles now.
Getting that track cleared up, we're ready to go. Heat race number one, expert twins on the racetrack. All right, track's clear. A bunch of smoke starting to come up from some of these motorcycles. Here we go, expert heat race number one. Clutches are in, here we go, watching for the Christmas tree. Top six to the main, they are off. Meese jumps straight to the groove on the outside nine out front. Meese is gonna lead him into one and two. Coolbeth looks like he's tucked into the number two spot. Randall Robinson, the tall drink of water from Pennsylvania, will duck in there into the third spot. They'll take him down the back straightaway for the first time. Here they come. Top six is what we're looking for. We got room for six of them directly to the main event. Look at the battle for the lead. Almost three wide for just a second. Keep your eyes out for the racing lady from Clio, Michigan. She's on the Black Hills Harley Davidson. This is one of her favorite racetracks. The leader's gonna bring him up in turn number four back at us. Here they come. Mies is out there. 44 of Robinson is there. Here they come off of four. It is Cool Beth, though, to lead him across the line. Cool Beth, Meese, Robinson, she, uh, Nicole Meese right there in the fourth spot. Now she drops one spot back to fifth. Battle for the leads heating up. It's Robinson and Meese, one and two. Two Meeses out there. That's fun to say. It's Cool Beth out front. Jared Meese in the second spot. Robinson now at the lead. So it's Robinson in the lead. Jared Meese in second. Third spot. Actually, that was Cool Beth. Now Meese takes the lead. So Cool Beth slides back to second. Jared Meese out front, Cool Beth in the two spot. Brandon Robinson in third, Nicole Meese is right there. Fourth and fifth is Stevie Bonsi on the 80 bike. Here they come back at us this direction. Sacramento Mile Twin Racing at its finest. It is Meese and Cool Beth. Robinson, Bonzi and in the fifth spot, Nicole Meese. Sixth is now Jake Shoemaker. Top three spots, very important. You gotta finish in the top three to go to the dash for cash. Top six will go to the main event. Down the back straight where they go. Bright orange leathers, that's gotta be Meese. Here comes Coolbeth. Coolbeth goes around the inside using the draft pass. New leader going into three, it's Coolbeth. Coolbeth, Meese, one and two. Brandon Robinson sitting by himself in the third spot. Bonzi's in fourth. Nicole Meese back there in fifth. And Shoemaker, last time by, was your final transfer position. Here they come back this direction. It is Coolbeth. The king of cool is out front. Meese in second. Robinson, Bonzi, Nicole Meese in sixth right now. It's Shoemaker. Top six will go directly to the main event. Top three will go to the dash. Off of turn number two, it is the king of cool. Lead him down the back chute. Zanotti racing in the lead. Second spot, Rogers racing. Here comes Jared Meese. Jared gets right in line and pulls him down. Actually tries to suck the draft down the back straight away. Does not make the pass. He's gonna sit back and watch and see where Coolbeth is running. Kenny Coolbeth is out front on the two. Jared Meese in the two spot, number nine. Here they come off of four. Don't forget, we got a special race coming up with another number nine coming up in just a little bit. Meese goes by him across the start finish line. Halfway flags are in the air. It is Meese now in Coolbeth. Meese kind of tiptoeing through the corner. Coolbeth hits that little bump again right there in the middle of one and two. Now he grabs a handful, pulls right up on the back tire, possibly let off just a little bit. Sometimes you don't want to go by him too soon down the straightaways. You want to use the draft pass just like that. These are two of the veterans in our sport going at it for the lead. Out front, it is now cool that Meese back in second, Robinson in third, Bonzi fourth, Shoemaker's in fifth, Nicole Meese now is on the bubble. If she wants to go to the main, she cannot get past one more time before they finish. Good battle for the lead. There is Cool Beth and Meese, one and two. Robinson third, Bonzi, Shoemaker, Nicole Meese. Now Nicole's got some company coming. Here comes national number 65. Corey Texter's gonna set his sights on Nicole Meese. That is the battle for the last transfer spot. Corey Texter on the bright green Kawasaki, racing unlimited Kawasaki entry, trying to track down the 15. That is Nicole Meese on the Black Hills Harley. Here comes Corey. I'm talking about the battle for sixth and seventh places. That is where the last transfer spot is. Nicole's in right now. Corey is up, out. Here they come off of four. Good battle for the lead. It's still cool, Beth and Meese, one and two. Meese pulls out, makes the pass. Robinson in third, Bonzi's in fourth. Nicole Meese, Jake Shoemaker now has slipped up as Nicole has passed up one spot. Nicole is now in the fifth spot. She does not want to ride a semi. So now Shoemaker and Corey Tex are trying to take the last two spots, or trying to settle the last spot, actually. Down the back straightaway, Cool Beth trying to take over the lead once again. Me says, not yet, I'm gonna lead this one. White flag is gonna come out this time by one more mile to go for the pack. Leader out front, it is the jammer, Jared Meese, number nine, last week's winner and our points leader. 
He's looking for a Tommy Doom, a fine jeweler's Rolex watch. If he can win the championship, it is Meese and Coolback. Robinson, Bonzi, Nicole Meese, and now Corey Texter's in the last transfer spot. So Shoemaker slipping up a little bit. He's going the wrong direction. You want to finish further ahead. He's Shoemaker slipping back just a little bit. Last lap, about a half a mile to go for the leaders. It's the jammer, the king of cool, right there first and second. Down the back chute, it is still Mies and Kulba trying to settle it out right now. Here they come off the last corner. It's the jammer gonna bring him to the finish line. Jared Meese gonna pull up the win on the number nine bike. Second is Coolbeth on the two, 44. Robinson third, Bonzi will take the four spot. Here comes Corey Texter and Nicole Meese will go directly to the main event. After this last bike, last couple of bikes go by, we'll give you the full rundown. The jammer, Jared Meese, picks up the win by .22 seconds over Kenny Coolbeth and Brandon Robinson. Those three riders will go to the dash for cash. Stevie Bonzi, Corey Texter, and Nicole Meese will all transfer to tonight's main event. Jake Shoemaker, Doug Lawrence, Mikey Martin, Jeffrey Carver, Mikey Rush, Shayna Texter, and Duke Erickson will all have to come back in one semifinal. There you got a whole bunch of people standing down there with you. Well, I got a whole bunch of beautiful young ladies, that's for sure. But the focus right now is on the man coming out of turn number four. You know what? This guy's on such a roll. Jared Meese, Clio, Michigan, Rogers Racing. He won at Lima. He won at Grace Harbor. He's our point leader coming into this round, Scotty, with 127. But he only has a five-point advantage over Brian Smith. So it is all on in the national tour and a chase for the championship as he gets a, a little bit of a fist bump from his crew. He's going to bring it to us right here. That beautiful machine comes to the line. Saddleman, of course, a big part of this uh, operation, as is SDI insulation. And the man of the hour is here, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for number nine, your heat race winner in the Harley-Davidson Expert Twins, the Jammer Jared Mees. Wow, Jammer, great show. That's a good way to begin your night. Man, I love racing with Kenny Coolbeth. He's the coolest guy out there to ride with. I mean, battling back and forth, so clean. He rides hard. Hats off to him. I love battling with that guy. Well, it's got to feel good. You're in the uh, dash for cash tonight and front row of the main, man. That's a great beginning. Man, I can't say enough for uh, Kenny Tolbert, Sam and Sweet. This thing is running and working so good. I mean, I just... Uh feel so in control. The Harley Davidson's got so much power here today ever since we got rid of them restrictor plates. Looking to put HD on top of the box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he said, I'm ready to put it on the box. How about it, Sacramento? If you think you can do it, make some noise for national number nine, Jared Mees. Sounds good. Barry, we're taking care of a few things up here. Sorry about that. Coming up next, expert heat race number two. You can see uh, ambulance is moving. They're trying to get him put back in the right spot. Coming up next, expert heat race number two. Here is how we will start them in expert heat race number two. On the pole, ladies and gentlemen, number seven, slamming Sammy Halbert from Graham, Washington. Second on the front row from Flint, Michigan, on the Villa Esperanza Kawasaki, he's flying Brian Smith. Starting third on Coatesville, Pennsylvania, he's listed here on a Ducati Hypermotard from Ramsburg Winery, that's the number five of Jake Johnson. Starting fourth on the factory Harley-Davidson from Eatonville, Washington, that is the bullet. Last year's champion, that's Brad Baker. Uh, Jake is on the Kawasaki, though, I believe. Absolutely. So Jake Johnson switched over to the Kawasaki. Let's go back to row number one, number 14. That is Briar Bauman from Salinas, California, on the Dodge Brothers Harley-Davidson. Let's go back to row number two. Our Rookie of the Year leader, 16, White McGuire. 96B, Cody Johncox. 49, Chad Coase. 27, Robbie Pearson. 74 is Scooter Vernon. 26 is Brandon Bergen. And, and all the way back on row number three by himself is the Valley Springs, California rider. That is Sean Raggio on the 51Z. Here we go. Expert heat race number two. Top three to the dash for cash. Top six will all go directly to our 25 lap expert main event. Here we go. And we are green. It's the bullet, Brad Baker. He's the factory Harley rider. He's gonna lead him into turn number one. Second place is Jake Johnson. Looks like Sammy Elbers tucked into the third spot. Brian Smith in fourth. They call in the bullet, ladies and gentlemen. Last year's champion leads him off, but turn number two, 
Big number one on the north plate. Here comes Jake Johnson getting the drive and going on by. Johnson's gonna bring with him a couple of friends. Now look at the Kawasaki of Brian Smith going around the outside. He goes from fourth to second in one corner. It's Johnson out front, Brian Smith in the two spot. I believe that's Sammy Helbert sitting in the third position. Here they come back at us off a of turn number four. It's Johnson out front, Smith in the two spot. Sammy Helbert, Brad Baker, Wiles and McGuire trying to come to the front. White McGuire in the 16, Suzuki trying to go around the outside of Baker, doesn't make it work. McGuire back there in the fifth spot, Wiles in sixth, but out front looking to make history tonight. It is flying, Brian Smith, the number 42 bike, takes him down the back straight away. Johnson's caught in the draft. He's trying to catch up to the leader. Maybe electing to follow him into three and four. Now it looks like he checks up. Looks like Johnson goes wide, loses two spots. Sammy Halbert comes on through, so does Baker. So I don't know what happened to Jake Johnson right there in the center of the corner, but he lost two spots in a heartbeat. Out front, it is Smith. Halbert, now Johnson's got to point in the right direction once again. Halbert in the two spot. Jake Johnson third, Brad Baker fourth. Wiles in the fifth spot. Now another rider comes through. White McGuire takes over fifth slide. Wiles back to sixth. Top three to the dash. Who's going to go to the dash and who's going to the main? We're going to find out in a few more laps. Brian Smith out front. He's got a little bit of breathing room this time. Sammy Halbert right there in the two spot, I believe. Jake Johnson's in third. Fourth is the bullet. Brad Baker, McGuire, and Wiles going back and forth for fifth and sixth place on the racetrack. Here they come back at us off of turn number four. It's Smith. Now Sammy Halbert's putting his head down. He's catching up to the leader. Johnson in second, Baker in the, I'm sorry, Johnson in third, Baker in fourth, Wiles. Behind Wiles, it is White McGuire, Robbie Pearson, Bugs Pearson, the odd rider out. Now we got two riders for the lead. Two riders for third and fourth, and two riders for fifth and sixth. Two motorcycles go faster than one. Here comes Slamming. Sammy Alberts caught the leader. Backs off just a little bit. Smith leaves it on a little bit longer going into three. Now four riders up there battling for the lead. It changes in a hurry when you're at mile racing. Bringing them off of four. It is the Piper. Brian Smith said, follow me, guys. I'll show you the fast way around. It's Smith, Halbert, Johnson, Brad Baker, Wiles, and now Shoemaker. I'm sorry, no, that is what McGuire. McGuire in the last transfer spot right now. Sammy Halbert's on the back tire of the leader. They're going to bring him off of turn number two. Look at the Kawasaki. Now here comes Sammy Halbert. Halbert trying to make the pass. Now he's tucked in line. Looks like Smith leaves it on just a little bit longer into turn number three. That's the only advantage I can see from right up here. It is now Smith, Halbert, one and two. The third place rider is there. That's Jersey Jake Johnson. Johnson right there in the third spot. Here comes the fourth place rider. That's the bullet. Brad Baker says, let me kid it, catch up to those guys. Halbert right there trying to draft your leader. Possibly waiting to make the pass later on as the laps are winding down. Good battle heating up a little bit deeper in the field. Who's gonna take that last transfer spot? New rider comes on through. That's gonna be Bauman puts the 14 bike. Another California rider goes up to the uh, sixth spot, I believe. Keep your eyes on the battle for sixth. Smith's got a little bit of breathing room going into turn number three. So it is Smith, Sammy Halbert. Third is Jake Johnson. Fourth is the factory Harley, Brad Baker. Fifth by himself is Wildsden. We got a great battle from, from there on back for the last transfer spot. Two laps to go. Now Johnson comes on through. Good battle for sixth place. Suzuki Mountain Rider, the 16, is in sixth right now. Briar Bauman on the Dodge Brothers Harley's in seventh. He's got to get one more spot to make the main. Can anybody do anything with Brian Smith? It is Smith, Johnson, Halbert, one, two, and three. Fourth. Is the bullet, Brad Baker. Fifth by himself is Wiles, all by himself, nobody to run with. Battle is for six. Your final transfer spot is the white flag's gonna fly this time by. Here comes your leader, trying to break the draft. He's swerving to the left, now he comes back. Here comes Johnson looking around the outside. He checks up a little bit. Not ready to make the pass right quite yet. Bauman goes up the inside, takes over the sixth spot, going into turn number one. Great battle for the last transfer. White McGuire slips wide, he's off the groove. That'll put Bauman in the sixth spot. He's got a little bit of breathing room. Back out front, 42, Brian Smith. Second is Johnson. Third is Sammy Halbert. Leader in three and four, gonna come back this direction. Here they come off of four. Brian Smith, it took him about a lap to get out front. Here comes the checkered flag from Kevin Clark, our flag man. Here comes Johnson, can he make the pass? Here he comes to the line. Wow, that one was close. 
We'll wait until the live timing scoring catches up. What a race to the finish line. Oh, John Cox has handful across the finish line right there. Just about uh, had a lot of head shake right there. So we're waiting. And ladies and gentlemen, the uh, times have came in. Brian Smith, your winner. Check this out. Point zero zero six seconds. The win by Brian Smith by point zero zero six seconds over Jake Johnson. Both those on Kawasaki's. Third is Sammy Halbert on the Harley. Those three go to the Dash for Cash. Fourth is Brad Baker. Fifth is Henry Wiles. And Briar Bauman puts the Dodge Brothers Harley Davidson into the main event. Those are your six transfers. Everybody else will come back in one semifinal. Brooks Pearson, White McGuire, Scooter Vernon, Cody Johncox, Chad Coast, Brandon Bergen, and Sean Raggio will all come back in that uh, one semifinal. So, man, what a ride out there. Brian Smith, he got, after he got up front, he kind of took over things. Barry, how'd you like that one? Well, let's, I'll tell you what. I like your question, but I'm going to turn it around to these fans here at Sacramento. How'd you like that mile, Sacramento? I'm talking about, of course, Brian Smith could make history here tonight. He's coming into this round after winning Springfield, Springfield and winning Hagerstown. He's only five points out of the championship lead at the moment. And right now, he's a happy guy as he's bringing that showy skid lid off. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the Piper, national number 42, Brian Smith. <laughs> Brian, great job. Nice race for you. And front row of the main dash, everything's going your way. Yeah, everything feels good. Uh, it'd be nice if uh, Jake wasn't right on my heels like that, but it kept it close and fun, and uh, it's going to be one heck of a main between Jake and Jared and Kenny. They all look fast. Tell us about this racetrack from your perspective, please. Oh, uh, man, it's just on the borderline of being really, really fast. It's just got a little bit of marbles out there in the corners. It's kind of making it follow the leader, and uh, got to tiptoe a little bit, but you sure get hauling the mail down the long straightaways. Man, the Via Sparza Crosley uh, Kawasaki looks really good tonight. Yep, it's ripping. i got to thank all the fans and uh, all the supporters of mine for coming out and uh, sticking out this California heat. It's going to be fun later. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it, Sacramento? Let's make some noise for Brian Smith. And, Scotty, we've got a great, great race coming up next. I'm fired up about